Welcome to our discussion on the topic of whether or not monarchists should avoid voting in republics. First, let's define what we mean by monarchists. Monarchists are people who believe in the monarchy as a form of government and support the restoration or continuation of a monarchy in their country. In contrast, a republic is a form of government in which the head of state is not a monarch, but rather an elected official. In many countries around the world, including in Romania, Hungary, Serbia, Russia, the United Kingdom, and Spain, there is ongoing debate about the role of monarchy in government. Some people argue that a monarchy is the best form of government, while others argue that a republic is the best form of government. In the context of voting, monarchists may be torn between their desire to support the restoration of a monarchy and their desire to participate in the democratic process. Some monarchists may argue that they should avoid voting in republics, as they believe that their vote will not bring about the restoration of the monarchy. They believe that their vote will only help to legitimize the republic, and therefore they should abstain from voting. However, it's important to remember that the act of voting is not just about choosing a specific form of government, it's also about choosing the officials who will govern the country. Electing officials who are trustworthy and competent is crucial to maintaining stability and prosperity in the country, regardless of whether it is a monarchy or a republic. So, the question is, should monarchists avoid voting in republics? The answer is no. Voting is an important right and privilege that should be exercised by all citizens. By participating in elections, monarchists can have a say in who leads their country and influence the policies that affect their lives. Instead of avoiding voting, monarchists can take other steps to advocate for their beliefs. They can contribute politically by joining the political movements or parties that advocate for the restoration of the monarchy and becoming more involved in politics. If they need action, they can boycott anti-monarchist businesses or products to show their dissent. In conclusion, while monarchists may not agree with the form of government in a republic, it is important for them to participate in the democratic process by voting. Instead of avoiding voting, monarchists can take other actions to advocate for their beliefs, such as becoming more involved in politics and supporting pro-monarchy candidates. It's important to remember that change is a slow process, and it will take time and effort to achieve the goal of restoring monarchy. But that doesn't mean one should give up hope. In this video we explore who would be the king of Greece if Greece would decide to restore monarchy today. And if you watch that one, go to our channel and see other videos.